Hi, welcome to Identifying Potential Shoulder Issues in Your Hand Therapy Patient. My name is Ann Pareto Lurkey, and what I'd like to talk about in this upcoming lecture is going to be helpful for therapists, especially those that maybe aren't as comfortable with treating the shoulder, going through the history and some basic clinical tests that you can do for three specific things that address shoulder problems. The first being an adhesive capsulitis or frozen shoulder. How do I identify in our patient's history that they're developing a frozen and shoulder, what are some clinical tests we can use, and what are some things that we can use in the hand clinic to help get them started and know that when we need to refer or if we can continue when their problems will resolve with just some of our interventions. Our second piece is going to be covering thoracic outlet syndrome, and that's probably one of the most poorly understood diagnoses in hand and upper extremity rehab. We're gonna talk about the two different types, go through some clinical testing, and then some basic things again that you can do in the hand therapy clinic to help facilitate improved blood flow to the brachial plexus downstream. Our third piece is gonna cover shoulder impingement with an emphasis on external impingement, those patients that present with a painful arc. We're also gonna be going through listing for our history and doing some clinical tests to help evaluate if someone has a rotator cuff tear. All of these things are gonna be helpful. We spend time with our patients so frequently throughout the clinic that we can listen for these cues and know if someone's developing something more proximally, we'll know what to do. Thank you.